Did you know that we have a second channel called Dreamlock? Well, we just uploaded a brand new video discussing everything we would like to see from the next Nintendo console, and we really need your support. It would mean the world to us if you could help get the channel to 200 subscribers. And although we don't have a full schedule for the channel just yet, you can expect consistent content going forward in the future. All things gaming, skits, collabs, you name it, Dreamlock will be the place to be. Anyway, that's pretty much all I had to say. <laughs> Enjoy the video. The end of Murder Drones, believe it or not, is something I think about often, despite there only being six episodes available. I've never been this invested in a show's lore, trying to dissect, analyze, and uncover several mysteries that are hiding from us. Now, while we have a good idea of where the series is headed, Kinda, there's still so much that we don't know. So much, in fact, that it's near impossible to wrap everything up within the span of two episodes. Although we don't have direct confirmation of a season two quite yet, other than a few small hints here and there from Liam Vickers, there's no doubt in my mind we're getting one. Now, before I talk about the future after season one, let's discuss the season one finale. When it comes to that, I think we should expect to find out what happened to V, more lore details on Nori and Yiva, another confrontation with Dahl, and potentially a fight with the Absolute Solver. I know, very obvious stuff. But where do we go from there? Like, sure, by the end of Episode 8, they could go the route of destroying the program once and for all, but to me that would seem way too simple and abrupt rushed even. I understand that every episode after the pilot is only about 20 minutes long, so maybe they want to stay within that time frame, but even if episodes 7 and 8 were each half an hour long, I really don't see them trying to tie up every loose end in the time given. Sure, it's not unlike Murder Drones to be very fast paced at times, but this is the finale we're talking about, and they should take their time with it. I really don't want another Meta Runner situation. Now, don't get me wrong, I still love Meta Runner with a passion, and it's what made me start talking about Glitch here on the channel in the first place. But I will say, despite me really enjoying it, the final season, and especially the finale, had no room to breathe, and while it was an overall decent conclusion, I just felt like they could have given it an extra season to help flesh out things such as the characters and world a bit more. I'm not saying the same thing will happen for Murder Drones though. Like I said, I'm confident a season 2 is gonna happen, but where do we go from there? All we can do is speculate, which is what I'll try to do to the best of my ability, as I'm not really used to looking that far ahead in the future. Hell, we're not even done with the first season yet. But hey, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> now, I really wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the season, the Absolute Solver takes full control of Uzi, as we already started to see this happen in Dead End. I do think it will take some time, but by Episode 8, we'll probably see this program's plan in action, and who knows, maybe we'll now have to fight Uzi as she's nothing but a puppet on strings. We even see her hurting En's hand in the finale teaser. There's always the chance that En will have to kill Uzi, but in my own opinion, if that happens, which again, that's a big if, it 100% won't happen until the end of the series, as they wouldn't kill off the main protagonist in the first season. Remember, we're discussing this as if there's more than one season confirmed. After Tessa showed N what's left of Earth, she did mention having to make the choice between Uzi or the universe. This will definitely play a role later on, but I'm just not sure how soon it will begin to play out. Back to them fighting the Absolute Solver though. I still think that could happen by Episode 8, maybe in the form of Sin as she's the program's current host but I don't think they'll successfully defeat it. 
Maybe they kill Sin, but what good would that do? Like I mentioned before, the Absolute Solver is already slowly taking over Uzi, so chances are she would just become the program's new host. Keep in mind that the Absolute Solver seems to be an unworldly entity from beyond the universe, capable of taking worker drones as hosts for its ultimate plan, the destruction of the entire universe. This ain't gonna be a walk in the park. In Season 2, we'll most likely see our main cast trying to figure out how to take out the program once and for all, while also revealing how it was created to begin with. But aside from the Absolute Solver itself, there are other things we need answers to. What is the full extent of the Singularity? What are these weird black holes with fleshy goop? And what are these strange symbols we've been seeing, among other things? My point is that there's just way too many unanswered questions. I would also like to see more supporting characters show up along with fleshing out some of the already existing characters. I need more Thad in my life. I do really hope that the series ends with an epic battle against the Absolute Solver, which it most likely will, maybe even taking us to what's left of Earth. In the pilot, Uzi did mention wanting to pilot to Earth to kill all humans, and while the Absolute Solver beat her to it, I can still see them piloting to the remains of the planet, and who knows, maybe we'll get some sort of intergalactic battle for the universe. Maybe with the Absolute Solver building an army of zombie drones that have rebooted and are taken control of to fight alongside it. Okay, now I think these theories are just becoming fanfiction at this point. But to be fair, we don't have much to go off of at all. We're undoubtedly right around the corner from official news about the next episode, and while it's not coming as soon as I had hoped, I'm sure it'll be worth the wait. But as for how many seasons Murder Drones will have, if it's anything like Meta Runner, at the bare minimum we'll probably get three seasons. But I would like to see them flesh it out a bit further. I don't mean like milk it until it's dry, but at least give us enough to the point where we're all satisfied. Because with Meta Runner, as decent of a conclusion as it was, it still left me wanting more. But what do you guys think? Will we be getting a season 2 and what do you think the future of the series holds? Let me know down in the comments below, but as always be sure to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it, as well as be sure to subscribe if you want to stay updated with all my content. But anyway, I want to thank you all so much for watching, until next time guys, this is Inferno, signing off.